right i'm back now i'm going to be doing some more flowers and i do want to do them in different i'm going to do the edges this time i think you know color them i mean these don't have to be perfect so five for each one i think that's um i've got several colors here okay let's just do that see how we get on now first one i'm going to do is this magenta one well it's um bilberry bilberry crush bilberry crush that's it now we'll have to paint them on because i don't have um the sprays on them don't work out it's a shame because i don't use them that often so i'm just going to make sure there's a little gap between each one so i don't want them running into each other it's a beautiful color look at that one of my favorite colors actually so i'm just gonna undo that and stand that up <laughs> now i am wetting the brush first and then i'm going to wet oh well that didn't go down very well because it's got blue on it but it doesn't matter i'm just going to wet the um chiffon first i just want to make sure that it soaks in well we'll see what happens i can do either side it doesn't matter Okay, now I'm going to go in with the colour. Oh, I think I like this. Hmm. I'm going to let them bleed, you see. I may need to go back in with more water. oh wrong way <laughs> never mind that's what you do when you do it upside down then realize your mistake that's not a problem because i might just actually do top and bottom no oh, that was a mistake wasn't it so what i'm going to do is just brush this up I think what I should have done actually was to put the colour on and then spray. So on the next one we'll do it the other way around. We'll put the colour on <coughs> and then spray it and see what happens. I'm getting water everywhere <laughs> right i think what i'm going to do i'm going to take a little bit of the blue do i want the blue yes i do And then I've got my, <clears throat> now I need my cloth. I should use tissue, but I don't have any at the moment. So I'm just going to use my cloth to get the worst off. Okay, now let's see what happens.
Just moving that out of the way. Oh, it's... Um, do you remember we used to do T-shirts like it? Uh, tea dye. That's just what it's like. Okay, so let me just make sure. Yep, that's dry. Just want to make sure they're dry properly. No, that's still damp. Yeah, done now. Just need a little bit more, not much. Come here. <laughs> okay so so this is the chiffon and the cream like i say we've got this in the shop now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the shape that i want i am going to have a dark darkness in the middle not the edging yes definitely you know i've told you before if you don't have colors make your own food coloring felt tip pen if you so if you take buy some cheap felt tip pens and you take them apart and soak them into a little bit of water the inside take the fil uh, the film off them and soak the actual what holds the ink in water you'll end up with colors colored you know that you can spray and use on your projects there are ways and means of doing it um at, next to no cost basically right we're just going to make this flower now let's just see what happens see what it's like if you've got ink pads you can produce colors from them oops okay so make sure we've got all of these the same way I'll just pull that. Oh, make such beautiful flowers. Oh. Don't know how you lot work with bloody nails. I don't. It does me head in. <laughs> okay, let's just cut this. And see what we have now oh beautiful colors yeah isn't that gorgeous I just took each one underneath and whatnot there like that beautiful um so I need some of this these will all be for sale whatever i make here they will be for sale on the shop folks Just going to put that on there like that. Make sure that's more or less in the centre. I just love the colours. Hmm. Happy with those. So I'm going to also do the edges. Pretty. Now, what can we put in the middle of that? Well, let me just see. I think they just need the button the uh, large button I don't think we need any more than that because they're quite pretty oh yeah look at that there right so that's flower number one I'm just going to try the colours we'll mix and match them let's just see okay let's go to the next one
And I don't know whether we'll be getting these in again, the, these uh, Cosmic Shimmers. Um, I still love the account, but I don't know. We'll wait and see because I used to have... When the shop was busier, we got loads in, you know. We bought them in bulk. But the shop has to be busier than what it is for me to be able to do that again. Now, let's just see. I'm going to run a bit of this up the middle, I think. So it mingles in with that colour. Okay, let's just get rid of that one. Not sure if I want to put another colour with that, but I might do yet. Let me just see what's the... Oh, yes. Love this one. This one is Plum Twist. And we used to use this a lot on my projects. No, they used to spray, but they stopped because I don't use them that often, which is a shame. Although I don't waste anything. You know, um, let me just see if I can do it this way. Now I'm going to have to do it right way. No, we're just going to leave it like that. Beautiful colours though. They look different, don't they, when they're dry. I really, I'm just going to get some tissue. So what I'm going to do is just lay that out on there. I'm getting blathered. But I like that. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo, you know. Look, and then you can use this for something else. Okay, I'll take our dryer and we'll dry this lot. a little bit more yep so it's really quick to dry and I think that's about right for that one as well Okay, yeah, okay, so we're going to shape these as well because I do like them shaped and I think we're going to have the colour on the outside this time and the plain centre. Yeah. Okay, let's just get this right. Yeah. 
Now, I'm just going to squidge this around where it's supposed to be. Like that. Now we need uh, another one. Okay. Actually, we need a little bit in the middle. Uh, I like that side. So, like that. And then I'm just going to use the lighter again. Like that. Oh, they are nice. I do like them, folks. Um, maybe a little bit more in that one. Nice, aren't they? Hmm, very nice. Let's try another one. So again, oh no, it's another one not doing it. Oh. See, this is because I'm not using them, folks, and you need to use what you've got. You do really need to use it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this red, not much left of it at all, but I'm just going to do a very light line, <laughs> we'll see, <gasps> oh that didn't do a very light line did it, oh well, let's just see what happens, when you make a mistake make it count. There we go. Nothing I can do about it. But let's see. Oh, God, look at this. Let's just see. <sighs> well, we're just going to go over like that. You can be as bold as you want to be with this sort of stuff. Look at this. Okay, you don't want to work. That's fine. Don't work. <laughs> Bloody thing work now. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh. Bloody works after all that. just want to soak up as much of it as I can. I'm 
just put that in there. One more, I think. We'll just reuse this one we did earlier. And then, oh, love the colours. Here's my little tool, which now got covered in paint. Let's have a look. One of those blew away, I think. One, two, three. There's more than one blow away. Four. Where did the fifth one? Oh, there, seen it. Okay, let's have a look. Here's the other one. There we go. So again, I'm just going to cut them. Oh, these have got all different colours in these. And they look right, um, I don't know, gothic-y. Is that the word? <laughs> blathered. Absolutely bloody blathered. I'm triple knotting them just for security that's all Whoop. oh my got butterfly fingers today but don't forget you could i've used the cream but you can use any of the colors and recolor them and they're all going to come out different it's the best thing to do is just to play use felt tip pens as well don't you know if they're water-based you can spray them afterwards and it should bleed not uh, normally into each other I love them. Right, okay. And which way do I want it? I like it that way actually, a bit more green on that. I love that. I love them. They're like autumn colours, aren't they? Autumn? Autumn colours. Is there such a word as autumn? Well, there is in my book. Okay, so what we've got are those at the moment, but see how they look. And just, I know you'll get more on you than the flowers do, but yeah, I love them. You do all sorts with them. And all it is, is using the chiffon. Right, we'll do this one because it's an autumn colour. Just to go round the edge. Oh yes, look at that. And you can actually see that it's gold. And you know what? I am going to do this. I'm going to make that gold as well. That really enhances that flower. Now this pen is just the useful marker. Paint pens. Oh yeah, I like that. Different, isn't it? Um, let's just try. Well, I'm going to try it. Let's just get the ink running in it again. Oh, there you go. He's going to go around the set. Oh, I love this. I walk up play like this all day. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, God, what a difference. I've made flowers like this for a while. I 
I'm just going over that one because it's uh, needed a little bit more on I think and I didn't want to waste what was on my deck what do you think? I like them ok let's do that again there we go I love them. Now just hang. Yeah, just leave it there, Ray. I'm just nearly finished. Okay. Right. Right. So, what's making me do this next is because I just think it needs it. So, let me just see. Oh, now. I could be making a really big mistake, but I don't think I am. I've, oh, I've got some gold. Right, hang on. We do have these in the shop as well, folks. So you get them in a bunch like this. I generally just put them into my little tub afterwards. But, uh, yeah, I've got some goldy ones here. And one in there and that will do for that one pretty aren't they 